Hello all, welcome back. In this session, we'll be taking a look at installation of XAMPP. So we're going to start learning PHP. And to run PHP, we need a web server. And XAMPP comes with Apache Web Server and MySQL Database Server. So we're going to download and install XAMPP on Windows. First, we'll search for XAMPP and we'll go to the very first link. Since I'm installing for Windows 64-bit, I'm going to select this version of XAMPP click on download. So the download will start automatically. So we'll be asked to download the installer, click on save. Yeah, I've already downloaded it. So the file is available. So the download is in progress. Once when the download is completed, you can click on this installer.exe file so that your installation will start. It's going to ask you for certain permissions. Click on Yes. Continue with the installation. Yes. Okay. Welcome to XAMPP Setup Wizard. Click on Next. We'll click on Next. So a XAMPP folder will be created on your C drive. Let's click on Next. Language is English. Next. So now it's going to install XAMPP. The installation process has started. Finally, XAMPP installation is completed. Let's uh, start the control panel for XAMPP now. Now we need to start servers. So you click on start. So we'll be starting Apache server and then you also start MySQL database server. So the issue I'm facing here is port 80 is in use by some other process and Apache by default listens to requests in port number 80. Since port number 80 is not available, we are not able to start a server. So there is a small uh, configuration change which I am planning to do here. See, the MySQL server is listening in port 3306 and uh, MySQL server has started, whereas Apache, it needs port 80 to be free. So we are not able to run Apache server. So that is one of the issues. So what we are going to do here is we are going to go to the configuration and uh, we will access Apache configuration file. So we have to change the port number such that it listens on some other port other than port 80. So you have to check whether your port 80 is free. If it's not free, then Apache is not going to start because by default, it will be using port 80. Okay, the configuration file for Apache server is open. Now let's search for uh, this keyword listen in the file. We need to change the port number here. See, by default, it's listening in port number 80. We need to change it to some other port number. Let me change it to 81. And then let me save the file and uh, close this configuration file. Now try and start the server again. Okay, now you see the server has started, it's listening in port number 81. This is a very important step. If your server is not able to access port 80, you need to go to configuration, change the configuration file such that the server listens on some other port number. Now I have configured my Apache server to listen on port number 81 for requests. Our servers are up and running finally. As a final check, 
you have to go to a new window in the browser and uh, type localhost colon the port number which you have given in the file so it's 81 and if you're seeing this welcome message from XAMPP then your XAMPP installation is fine and it's complete you are ready to now use the servers the next thing is we'll be using Visual Studio Code for writing PHP files so we'll be using VS Code for coding all our PHP files as a first step what we need to do is we need to go to a C drive so when we install XAMPP there is a XAMPP folder created on your C drive open this folder And inside this folder, you have this folder by name htdocs. Open this folder. So all your PHP files will be stored on this folder. So we'll create a new folder here. And you can name this folder as anything. I'll be naming this folder as IWP. So we have created a folder under htdocs under XAMPP. Now we should go to Visual Studio Code, open this folder, file, open folder, browse to C drive XAMPP htdocs and within htdocs I have created this IWP folder which I am going to open now. So select this folder and select folder. So this is a very important step. First you should create a folder on the server and then you have to open this folder in VS Code. So our folder is open here. I will add a file called test.php. Since we are coding PHP files, the file extension is .php. Let's write a very simple PHP program here. So all of PHP code should be enclosed within this syntax. Let me give an echo statement. Say hello there will this even work how to run this code go to the browser so it's localhost 81 you browse to that folder so it's iwp slash test dot php yeah that's working so we have executed our first php code so finally we have achieved our output so how did we achieve this we used this code for creating the PHP file and where we have placed this file we created a folder called IWP inside htdocs on the server and we have put our test file test.php inside this folder so it's mandatory that you place your PHP code on the server so that your PHP code finally executes and you get this kind of an output with that we are coming to an end of this session I hope you are clear with how to install XAMPP and how to start up your servers and finally, how to code a simple PHP file using VS Code. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. And thank you all for listening. Take care.